Once again, I was roaming through endless suggested videos from my YouTube homepage until I came across this little demo of a game that was played by card game enthusiasts. It's an arcade racing game in the vein of Tokyo Extreme Racer or Wangan Midnight. You know the drill. Circling around C1 in a loop at high speed while avoiding poor unsuspecting traffic. Ok, this demo has no traffic but you know what I'm on about. So, from what I've gathered, apparently this Japanese YouTuber under the moniker Staka117 was busy learning Unity game engine and creating racing game showcases heavily inspired by the likes of Initial D and the games I've previously mentioned. Correct me if I'm wrong, but his demo was created by just one person, and that's worthy of many praises of mine. Why you might ask? Well, check out the game in question. So, C1 Runner Time Attack demo offers a one lap race on the C1 course in both directions and three cars to drive. These cars are my first love called R34 Nissan Skyland GTR, Mark IV Toyota Supra and Mazda RX-7 FD3S Wellside. If only there was a Honda NSXR, that would be a complete set of JDM perfection. But let's not complain now, alright? So, you can get higher graphic settings, switch between manual or automatic transmission and that's it. Oh, and the steering wheel is unsupported so the gamepad should do the trick. Remember, this is an arcade racer so the physics is very forgiving. And it is, but you can feel the difference in all three cars. Skyline has an Atesta 4 wheel drive system so it's stable around corners. RX-7 is nimble and can be a tail happy if you want it to be. You know, drifting and stuff even though I'm quite crappy at that. Supra should be in the middle. Powerful but a bit unpredictable at late braking. Just look at my driving. Poor Supra. Graphically everything looks so good and runs well. The demo instantly feels like playing a Cerro Corsa Shutoku Revival project map. Remove the HUD and you would have a hard time recognizing one game from another. But when you hit the wall and see the animated sparks, then you will know. That feature looks like something from the Need for Speed Unbound or Auto Modelista. Remember that old relic from the past? The driving model handles everything pretty well so it's fun to drive, even with a controller. You can only do one lap and try to get the best time while hitting checkpoints, and that's it. Oh, and you can try to get past the cameras as fast as you can so you can break the record speed. Don't worry, you won't get the ticket. It's short but sweet demo that's really well made. I've managed to crash it one time but I think I pressed too many buttons in so little time trying to figure out how to play so yeah, blame is on me. Next time everything was alright. By the way, check out the lower right corner in the HUD. See this frantic number? It measures horsepower in real time. How cool is that? So cool! And now, unfortunately, some bad news. Stucker 117 decided not to work on this demo anymore, hence the title of the video. You can check the channel in the description if you want a detailed explanation on how the things worked. The download link was removed, so the only way to find another one was a little YouTube search. Too bad, because this C1 runner has so much potential. I hope Stucker 117 changes their mind and resumes the work sometime in the future. Fingers crossed. So, this is it from me for today. Click thumbs up if you like this video, comment on it if you feel like it and sub for more content. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!